What's up, everyone? Welcome back to Big Time Hoops. Today, we're going to be talking about one of the most promising players, LaMelo Ball. LaMelo Ball, best known for being a Hornet and part of the Ball family, was born on August 22, 2001. The point guard was highly recruited at a young age and verbally committed to play at UCLA when he was just 13 years old. He was the third Ball brother to commit to UCLA following his older brothers, Leangelo and Lonzo. LaMelo Ball's father's name is LaVar Ball and his mother is Tina Ball. We will continue to update you on details of LaMelo's family. His most crazy moments are very recent. So without going any further, welcome to things you probably didn't know about LaMelo Ball. LaMelo already has a shoe deal locked and loaded. This was already a surprise considering his family owns the Big Baller brand and their line of shoes. Still, LaMelo wanted to go somewhere more official and inked a pretty serious deal with Puma. Puma has been growing exponentially as of late and they didn't want to miss out on an opportunity to land the future face of the league. They gave him a $100 million deal with an unknown number of years at the moment, but it does set him up nicely for the future. Did you know that LaMelo fell to the Hornets at number three because his father, LaVar? To make a long story short, LaVar called out Michael Jordan. Yes, Jordan is widely considered the greatest basketball player of all time and the owner of the Charlotte Hornets. LaVar said that he could beat Jordan in a game of basketball one-on-one, -on -one, going even further later on saying that he could do it with one arm tied behind his back. We feel the other teams didn't want to deal with LaVar's drama. That didn't discourage Jordan and the rest of the Hornets staff as they still felt that LaMelo was worthy of a top selection. LaMelo made a former NBA champion become a big fan of his during his time in the Australian League. Ball went up against Andrew Bogut, a center that was able to win a championship with the Golden State Warriors during the 2014 NBA season with Klay Thompson and Steph Curry. Now retired, he played in the Australian League as a member of the Sydney Kings where he matched up against LaMelo. Bogut was so impressed after competing with LaMelo that he compared him to two Hall of Fame players. It was reported that LaMelo somehow verbally committed to play for UCLA at the age of 13. The kid wasn't even in high school yet and was already committed to one of the best colleges for basketball. They weren't the only school to make a push for him as both Virginia and Washington State did everything that they could to land the five-star recruit before he chose to play in Lithuania and Australia. Still, he believed that UCLA was his dream school and didn't want to go anywhere else if he went the traditional college route. There were a lot of questions regarding his college eligibility though at the time. LaMelo became the youngest player in NBA history to record a triple-double. He was able to do so at the age of 19 years and 140 days, narrowly beating out the record that was held by Markel Fultz. He dropped 22 points, 12 rebounds, and 11 assists in the game. Josh Giddy of the Oklahoma Thunder just recently broke that record. But now that we are on the topic of broken records, LaMelo and Lonzo became the first brothers to both be drafted in the top five. Lonzo was famously selected by the Los Angeles Lakers with the number two overall pick in the 2017 NBA Draft, and LaMelo was drafted number two overall by the Charlotte Hornets. We have even gotten to see Leangelo get some NBA action in the Summer League as a member of the Hornets squad. Maybe we could finally see all three Ball brothers in the league, joining the Antetokounmpo's and the Holidays. LaMelo also played for the Australian-based National Basketball League. Mind you, he did all of this during the years that he should have been a high schooler and college student. He signed a two-year deal with the Illawarra Hawks and was able to get the contract through the Next Stars program. The whole purpose of the program is to develop future NBA draft prospects, which LaMelo was at this time. He was coming off the bench toward the beginning of the season, but later blossomed after becoming the starting point guard until suffering a serious injury that would keep him out the entire season. Ball then got injured a couple of weeks later and opted to sit out the rest of the year. Still, he was able to win the NBL Rookie of the Year award by a small margin before leaving after one season to throw his name into the NBA draft. LaMelo Ball used to play for Chino Hills alongside his two brothers but ended up leaving shortly after they left. Instead of sticking around and trying to keep Chino Hills in contention for another season, he had a bit of an issue with his head coach. 
That issue ended up causing him to transfer, not to another school in the U.S., but rather to a team in Lithuania at just 16 years old. He spent some time with Vitutas Priane and had multiple great games. He even had some NBA scouts take the trip over there just to see how good this young kid was. Lamelo grew up playing older competition. He first started playing basketball at an incredibly young age of four. But it must have been easier to learn when he had both older brothers and his father to show him the ways at an early age. This is why he was able to perform at such a high level despite playing in competition above his age range. Even nowadays, you can tell that he plays the game of basketball like a veteran, despite only being in the NBA for a few seasons. He became an all-star this year. Speaking of the Lithuanian Basketball League, Lamelo felt it was because his father had issues with their head coach. So yet again, there were head coaching issues that caused Ball to get up and take his talents elsewhere. The issue this time around was that Lavar felt like Lamelo wasn't getting enough playing time with his new squad. After all, the up-and-coming star was only picking up around 12 minutes per contest, which simply isn't enough considering the amount of recognition their team was getting just having him on the roster. Seems like Lamelo has had a full career already before his NBA one. Playing with different teams and dealing with the media in his teens is an adjustment, but he has handled everything well and this dude is just getting started. Thanks for watching this video until the end. Don't forget to subscribe for more content like this. See you next time, Hoopers!